Okay, hello. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm coming to you guys on tonight talking about mortgages. I want to talk to the young people who are maybe just starting out and they don't know much about finances and buying houses and things like that. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about paying your mortgage off early. Um, most people have a 20-year mortgage, 30 years, however long you uh, decide to um, finance your home. Um, some people do 15, some people do 20, some people do 30. But my thing is, well, how many ever years you do, your goal is to pay it off, right? And so, the best thing to do... You know, from my experience, you know, it's, it's so many people that's on the internet and they say, well, what's she saying this for? We already know this. Or it's some people, you know, that, oh, okay, we already know this. Why are you telling us this? But it, it is some people that do not know, you know, about paying their mortgage off. And some people know and they just don't put it into play. So my thing tonight is I pray that young people everywhere who's buying houses would put this into play. I pray that, you know, people can look at this and say, you know what, she's right. But my thing is gearing at the people who's just now buying homes. Young people, older people are buying homes. Whoever, um, uh, you know, if you're in a mortgage now, um, if you're in a mortgage now and you wish to start paying your home off earlier, you know, the, I know everybody's heard it. Um, they'll tell you pay one, one extra payment per year and it will cut a lot of your interest off. It'll cut, it'll cut some years off of your mortgage. And your home will be paid for and you know everybody so many people probably know this and some don't but I'm gonna go on and do an example right here I'm gonna do we're gonna do six hundred dollars you know mortgages are so much higher nowadays you know when you're buying houses but um, we're just gonna go with six hundred dollars but what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do a mortgage of six hundred and then we're going to do a mortgage of 1200 okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to, the best thing to do instead of just making a whole mortgage every year. And some people do it when they get there. You know, if you're lucky to have an income tax check refund, you make a payment then, an extra payment. And if you can do that on top of making extra payments during the year, that'll cut it off even shorter make your mortgage even shorter so what i want to do is we're going to take a mortgage of six hundred dollars right we're going to take that and we're going to divide it by 12 right we're going to divide 600 by 12 and what do we get fifty dollars okay so if your mortgage is six hundred dollars and what i was trying to suggest to people is that pay twice a month well not twice a month pay your mortgage every two weeks every two weeks half half not the whole thing half now if you are fortunate enough that you can pay the whole thing every two weeks oh god you will be done with your mortgage in no time and that will be so excellent but okay we're gonna do this six hundred dollars right we did six hundred divided by twelve can you see that that's all I'm doing and that came to 50 right so if you're gonna do your every two weeks you go on and take your mortgage and you're gonna add you're gonna do three hundred and twenty five dollars every two weeks bi-weekly bi-weekly that's all I'm writing down every two weeks you would do three hundred and twenty five dollars bi-weekly and by the time the year is over you had a major extra payment for the year and like i say if you get an income tax check if you're fortunate enough to get a refund back you go on and um if you want to make an extra payment then that's going to help cut 
couple more years off. Before you know it, your mortgage would be paid off. Okay, we're going to do that $600 mortgage, you know. For people who bought their homes maybe back in the days, but people nowadays, we're going to do a $1,200 mortgage, right? All right. That's, the, that's all I did. Wrote down that and that. We're going to do a $1,200 mortgage, right? $1,200 divided by 12 Okay. That's a hundred dollars. So I should have known that. But anyway, twelve hundred divided by twelve. You add a hundred dollars to your payment every two weeks. Not every two weeks, but half of a hundred, fifty and fifty. Every two weeks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your fifty dollars to your payment. So if you were doing every two weeks, you would be six fifty, six hundred and fifty dollars. Hmm. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Um, twice a month. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Um, we got six hundred and fifty dollars twice a month, and that would be your mortgage payment for the year with your extra payment for the year. So if you decide to make a payment. At the end of the year, that's going to help cut it off some more. So that was my point. Um, start now. When you first buy your house, don't put it off. When you go on and set up automated payments for your house payment so that you won't miss a payment, when you set up your automatic payments, you go on right then and you let them know that that, that, $50, that $100 a month is going towards your principal to pay your house off early. Okay? And then you're going to do that $650 every two weeks, and your extra payment will be in there every year, every year. Go on and do it, and then you're going to get your house paid off so fast. And then if you want to make extra payment, make extra. If you can afford to do that, the more, the merrier, the quicker you will be done with your mortgage. Because young people, you don't want to spend your whole life paying mortgage you want a nice home but you don't want to spend your whole life paying mortgage you want your you want to get your mortgage paid off early of course if you're very fortunate to make good income you know when you first start out then you know you can be fortunate but you can be more fortunate if you can get your home paid off early you can enjoy life. You don't have to be 50, 60, 70 years old trying to pay a house off, trying to work. You, you know, you hurting, you sore, you in pain, and you trying to work because you got a mortgage that you still got to pay. And you didn't make the decision to start making extra payments every month, every year that would help you get your mortgage paid off. Early. You don't want to spend your whole entire life trying to pay off your mortgage. So that's me, Cynthia Taylor. I pray that I helped someone. And a lot of people, like I say, probably already know this, but put it into action. I knew it, but I didn't put it into action So until late. So try to put it into action. And thanks for watching.